In this video, before we can start grading our feature lines, we need to take a look at the grading criteria sets and potentially set some up and look at the options that the criteria sets give us. Now, we're in the Prospector tab. I'm going to go down to the Settings tab, and I'm going to hit Grading. And we have some grading styles, but that's not what I want to look at. I want to look at the grading criteria sets. I've got three sets currently set up. I've got a projection at distance, a projection to elevation, and a projection to surface. So this criteria set, and we're going to go through these options, will do a slope, so 1% for 15 meters, for 20 meters, for 30 meters, or a 2 to 1 slope. So over 2, down 1 for 10, 20, 30 meters. I've got a projection to elevation, so it will grade 1% to a given elevation, or 4 to 1 to a given elevation. And you specify that elevation in the command. And then finally, I've got a projection to surface. So we'll grade 1% to a surface. It'll go from this feature line with the elevations of the feature line and grade to, say, my existing ground at 1% or 2% or 3 to 1 or 4 to 1, for example. So let's go and make a new criteria set. And we're just going to call this uh, grading examples. Then on grading examples, I'm going to right click and hit new. And we have a new grading criteria set. So we will say projection to elevation. And we'll just pick one. We'll do three to one to an elevation. Under the criteria, I have different methods of grading. So my target, I can choose a distance, surface, elevation, or relative elevation. Now, because I'm targeting 3 to 1 to elevation, I want to select elevation. We could type an elevation in here and lock it so it's always going to be that elevation. However, grading to 0 doesn't really tend to work. We always want to specify our own elevation, so I'm not going to set that. I'm definitely not going to lock it. Now, projection, do I want to cut slope, fill slope? Do I want to only do cut or do I only want to do fill? I want cut and fill. I want it to show me both. Now, cut slope projection. So when it's going up, I want format. I can either choose a slope or a grade. Slope will give me 2 to 1. Grade will give me 50%, for example. However, I've specified 3 to 1. If you want to do this as a grade, that would be 33.333%. My fill slope down, again, I want a slope and I want 3 to 1. And then if there's interior corner overlaps, so if you're grading around the interior of a corner, it gets a little wonky even on the outside of a corner. Do we want to use the average slope, hold slope as minimum, hold slope as maximum? Usually I choose use average slope. Now these ones are the ones that I've locked, and in fact, you can even lock the 3 to 1s. If you have more than one 3 to 1, 4 to 1, 5 to 1 criteria set, however, Civil 3D will specify when we go to make this. So I'm going to hit OK. And then I'll make a new one. And we will say 3 to 1 to a surface. Under the criteria, I'm going to grade to a surface. I want cut and fill. And do I want it to cut first or fill first? Searching, it's, let's just specify cut first. And then I want it based on a slope of 3 to 1, a slope of 3 to 1, and I'm, again, I'm going to use average slope. And then finally, the last one, we are going to go a 3 to 1 to a distance. So I'm going to leave it on distance. A distance of 1 meter, we can put in 0 for now, but 0, it doesn't let us do it, so we'll leave it on 1. Projection, I want it to project via a slope, and the slope is 3 to 1. So I'm going to hit OK. We can right-click and edit those. So you can come in here and you can take a look. You can edit them. Now, I have seen issues within Civil 3D where it starts duplicating these, and then you, you can't get rid of them then. And I do not know why that happens, how that happens, or even what causes it to happen. So... Just to take a quick look at the ones I have, I've done a 1%, 2%. Generally, that's the ones I've needed. And I've got slopes of 1 to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, and 20 to 1. So again, 
slopes or grades is it's really the same thing it's just a different way of inputting it if you go three to one it's 33 percent if you go two to one it's 50 percent my projections to elevations i really have the same one percent two percent and then the one to one to twenty to one and same with surfaces one percent two percent and 21 20 to one to surface from one to one but when I'm running these commands, I can type in the numbers that I really do want. If I want a two and a half, it's not like I'm constrained to the one to one or two to one. So that is taking a quick look at the grading criteria sets. And in the next video, we are going to apply them to the feature line themselves.